Okay, so today I'll show you how to migrate your WordPress website from uh, HostGator to Hostinger or Hostinger. Um, I just transferred um, from HostGator to Hostinger and I'll be using a plugin in migrating my website. So let's start. Okay, so first step, you need to log in to your WordPress uh, website, which I am now. And then um, let's go to plugins. Then we will install the migration uh, plugin that I really like. And it's been working for me for, sorry, for a couple of um, times of migration already. Um, just click on add new and then install the plugin. And this is the plugin WordPress migration and duplicator, which is which is free. So I'm installing it now. Activate. And so look, you can see it here, WordPress migration. This is the plugin. So the first thing you need to do is export your files and it will export the files in a zip format and uh, it's, very, it's just very simple just click on export and we'll just wait this is not a very big website so it should be to be passed in my next video i'll uh I'll talk to you about the reasons why I transferred from HostGator to Hosting Hostinger. I've been using HostGator for uh, around five years already, um, using their uh, virtual private server services. But uh, I've been having a lot of problems with it. So um, just check out my next video. Okay, so it's done. It will automatically download the, the file here, as you can see. Then, yeah, I'll just stop the video and then just uh, continue after the download is done. Okay, so now our download uh, is done. And then um, I'm here right now in uh, HPanel, they call it HPanel of Hostinger. And I'm logged in, and I just created um, a, a website. I added a website here to this function, and then I will install um, WordPress to this new website. So this is how you do it: is go to um, install WordPress and it already has your domain. By the way, this is my domain, malataisoft.com. Um, I'll just create the password, email, and then there's uh, blah blah since our uh, website title will be changed later on. So everything's good. Just click on install. So, we'll wait. By the way, I got the um, WordPress, uh, Managed WordPress Hosting for Hostinger. Um, this is with uh, around unlimited websites with 100 um, gigabytes of disk space and unlimited bandwidth. Uh, all, all of my websites are running WordPress, so 
that's why I have to choose uh, a cheaper um, managed WordPress um, hosting. So, still waiting. Okay, so it's done. Um, yeah, I don't normally receive any confirmation here, but uh, once this is, once the um, the loading screen disappears, then uh, that's yeah, that tells me that the WordPress um, is already installed. So let's see. We'll go to dashboard and then. Uh, So, yeah, you normally get this kind of um, error message if your domain is not yet pointing um, to your name servers, which is this. Uh, yeah, currently my 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 domain Malakai Soft is pointed to um, to Hostgator. So I'll do that later on after um, installing or migrating uh, the website. So. So we already have here, it's just a subdomain for um, for Malakai because uh, we haven't added or we haven't pointed the name server to, um, to I mean the domain to the, the name server. So this is the basic um, installation as you can see here. So it's, it's, it's successful. Right now, I'll show you how to um, migrate um, the website. Okay, so I'm still on the, the dashboard for Malakai Soft um, hosting. And uh, yeah, I refresh the page. And then as you can see, you'll have uh, WordPress here, dashboard and plugins. So this is where you will access your WordPress installation. So just click on um, dashboard and then um, let's click here to access it so it's redirecting okay oh hmm oh yeah um, Let me check again. Let me go to the website manually. Log in there. Oh, that's how you do it. I guess the other one we just redirected to the original domain, so that's why it was a 404 page. But, um, you know. So log into the WordPress. Okay, so I'm in now. Then just go and install the same plugin so that we can import the file which we downloaded. Um, a while ago. Okay. okay. Let's do the same thing. By the way, this is not yet secure. There's by default, there's no SSL certificate. But uh, I'll be doing another video, how to create a free SSL and then upload it to your um, hosting or WordPress website. So migration, let's look for the plugins. Here it is. Yeah, thanks forever. Okay. Oh, it, 
this will take me to the original domain again. Yeah, so hang on. Um, just go back and you can do that here. Just go to install plugins. And activate from here or here. Okay, so yeah, the, the plugin is now activated. We'll just go to WordPress migration. Then um, we'll import the file. Just click here, import, and upload file here. So this is the backup file. Yeah, I'll just pause the video and then come back when it's when it's uploaded. Okay, so um, the upload is done. So we'll just uh, select it and then import. So you will see the status here. Okay, so it's still working. So files are imported and this time, okay, it's done. So just uh, that and um, okay, we'll try to go to the website. Everything is done here. Okay, so you still have this. Let's go to the dashboard a posting her and uh, try to access again it should be prompted with um, database um, update so we'll see I think it will, it will just go to the, the original domain but I'm not sure let's, uh, let's wait okay here it is uh, database update just update the database and here it is so WordPress has been successfully updated let's see okay all right looks like this is the website now let's see yeah so we have successfully migrated the website from HostGator to Hostinger. And then we scroll down, everything looks good, looks good. Yeah, how about the pages? Let's see. Yeah. Looks like it's uh, successfully migrated. So, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, just uh, see you in the next video.